Welcome back to my Top 100 Geekery. Um, this is number 64, The Last Unicorn. The Last Unicorn is a novel by Peter S. Beagle that was released in 1968. It's 218 pages hardcover, 288 if you read the paperback. Uh, has a graphic novel rendition, which is actually pretty good too. There's also a film. Now the film... Ha... <sighs> The screenplay was written by Peter S. Beagle. Starred Christopher Lee, which is really cool, Jeff Bridges, Angela Lansbury, Alan Arkin, Mia Farrow, all top notch here. Um, sad thing about it was the production company, Rankin Bass, There, there's a lot of bad water under the bridge where it was concerned. Um, there's not a lot online about it anymore, but suffice it to say, when it was released on Blu-ray, Lion's Share of the Profits went to, uh, Peter S. Beagle, where they belonged, which is really good, because he deserves a lot. The animated movie, I highly recommend watching, because after you read the book, because once you do, you sit there and go, well, wait, this is a really solid adaptation. And it was. It was a really, really good adaptation. Um, the music in it, you probably will have heard. Um, uh, it's by Jimmy Webb. But some of the songs were performed by America, the band America, and they did such a good job and some of it's still remembered to the day and covered a lot more today. Um, it is one of those books that will be a classic forever. Um, you can't knock it as something that's um, out there. It's one of those unsung unsung legends of fantasy writing and if you don't know about it even today it's kind of lost in obscurity because of the popularity of lord of the rings game of thrones it's a one book thing i know there's been some little bit of sequels here and there um beagle himself um is still around he's 83 uh I love the man he does. He has won such things as a Hugo. He's won a Nebula. He's won the. He has done it literally all. Uh, you can't knock the man. Um, he. Uh, if you listen to him talk about writing and whatnot. He's one of those authors I say you should go out and look at his interviews or read his interviews because when he's talking about writing and whatnot, he is always trying to inspire the next generation of writers. He does a good job with it. It is amazing. And that's literally all I have to say. I, I highly encourage you, go read the book. Even watch the movie. You, you can't go wrong either way because it's just magnifique. And with that, I will see you guys in the near future. Thank you for watching.